So this one, we're going to write an equation which is parallel to this equation, but it has a y-intercept of 0, negative 7. So we're looking for a new equation, right? We want a new equation. The good news is, is that they've given us the y-intercept of the new equation. So what does that mean? Well, that means we're going to write that equation. It should be in slope-intercept form, right? So that's going to be y equals mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. And this line is going to be parallel, which is going to be crucial, because the slope that we find that's parallel, it's going to have the same slope. So we're going to need to remember that too. But I, I don't have the slope directly from this equation. It's not in slope-intercept form, so I have to change it myself into slope-intercept form. No problem. right? So we've seen we're just going to use principles of equality. First thing I want to do is isolate this 2y so it's by itself. So that plus 7x has to be zeroed out by subtracting 7x. But yep, if you do it to one side, make sure you do it to the other side, okay? And this does exactly what we wanted. It zeroes out that 7x. Now we can take that 2y and drop it by itself. So now it's 2y equals, I'm going to switch the order just like we've been showing. The negative sec, uh, 7x and the negative 8 there. Um, those two have to be separated. They need to remain separated because they're not like terms that you can combine. So please keep those separated. The last thing we want here is y equals. It's really a phantom 1y. But right now we've got the 2y, right? So we've got to change that 2 into a 1 simply by dividing it by itself. But if we do it there, we've got to do it everywhere. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. There's the phantom 1 right there. You can't see it, but it's there. And the slope then would be negative 7 over 2. And then for the y-intercept, negative 8 over 2 is negative 4. Now, we didn't actually need the y-intercept because the only thing we need from this equation was the slope, but it's good practice to keep going with the y-intercept right there. Uh, and then we, we, we can also see right here that this negative 4 y-intercept is different than this 0, negative 7 y-intercept. So they're different y-intercepts. They're at least going to be parallel, right? So now for my new equation, which will take the form y equals mx plus b, we just found the m, right, the slope. Uh, again, it's... It, the, the slope will be the same slope because the lines are parallel. So the slope that I have was negative 7 over 2, so I'm going to make the new slope negative 7 over 2. Okay, so that's my parallel slope. Uh, and then again, up, up here at the top, they've given us the y-intercept, which is 0, negative 7. I'm just going to put this in as minus 7. And this right here is the new equation. Now keep in mind, in the future, they're not going to give us that y-intercept. They're going to give us another point, and then we have to find the y-intercept ourselves. We've done that before. We know how to do it, um, but we haven't seen those examples yet for this particular section, but we will.